All right, Allison teams, we're here for this week's video workout. You're gonna need a couple of objects to, uh, to plant down on the ground. I'm using a pair of shoes. You can use tapes. I want you guys to make sure that you do all your warm-up exercises so that you've kind of stretched up the calves, the shoulders. Uh, be careful when you're doing this, and let's get started. All right, our first exercise will be a one-minute round. I stole this one from Sensei Russell last week. What we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna be taking our foot, we're gonna be stepping in between the two objects. We'll bring the other foot in, we'll step out, We'll bring the other foot out, then we'll step back in. When we bring this other foot out, it won't touch the floor. It'll go back into the center. We'll step in with the other leg. We'll step out with this leg. This one will remain up, and then it goes back down. Right? I'm kind of doing it at a walking pace, but I really should be using fast footwork. Right? And just kind of practicing that nice and quick. Maybe working that for a full minute. You can pause the video, and we'll see you back shortly. Now that you've done round one, you're going to drop down. You're doing your basic push-ups today. If you haven't done your push-ups in a while, just make sure that you've got your back nice and flat, right? Eyes are up, we're lowering the entire body down, and up, we're working good reps. Dragons will be going up to 15 today. Kids, I need you to do 20, and adults and teens, a full set of 25, and then we'll be back for our next round. This next one is also a step-step drill. I'm gonna review it just uh, slowly, and then we'll put it together. So I'm gonna step back into between the two objects, step in with that other foot, Step out. This leg, which went up, normally went back in. I'm gonna actually gonna throw the kick and then put the foot back in. Step in with the other leg. Step out. Throw the side kick. Right. Just kind of working that for a full minute. You guys can pause the video and then we'll do our next round of push-ups. Okay, I want you guys to drop down like before. Good technique here. All the way down. All the way up when you're doing your push-ups. Right. Try to emphasize good technique and good form. Little dragons, you're doing another 15, kids another 20, and adults and teens another 25. Okay, our next round. We're doing a circle run uh, through the uh, two objects here using a figure eight motion this time. So I'm gonna be stepping forward like this. When I get to here in the middle here, I'm actually gonna do a pop-up. I'm gonna run around to this corner here. When I get back to here again, I'll do another pop-up. And I'm just using that figure eight motion, right? I'm kind of moving the legs like this. Right, and every time you get to the center there, make sure you do your pop up. We're not bending from the back, we're keeping the back straight, bending our knees. That way we're not injuring our lower back. You guys can pause the video and do that for a full minute. Okay, finish it off, guys. Let's go drop back down. Another round of push ups, all the way down, all the way up. Good technique, dragons and kids. You're doing 15 for dragons, kids are doing 20, adults and teens 25. Pause the video and we'll see you back. Okay, we're using another step step again. We're stepping in, the other leg, stepping out. This time instead of throwing the side kick, we're going to throw a front kick with that leg there. If uh, we have to touch the ground, that's fine. If we can, we'll stick it back in here like this. I'm out, front kick. All right, and just working that quick footwork, using the objects and making sure that you're moving with good speed and being careful. Do that for a full minute, pause the video, and we'll see you for one round, more round of push-ups. Okay, drop down. You're here. Again, work those push-ups, guys. We're going up to 15 dragons. Kids, you're doing another 20. Alice and the teens finish off with another 25. You can pause the video, and then we'll finish off with some jumping jacks. Okay, to finish our workout, dragons, you're doing a full 50. Kids, we're doing 75. Adults, we're doing 100. You're just working those jumping jacks at full speed, full power. Once you're done that, you guys can take a break and then we'll get into some stretching. Okay, for today's stretching, if you have a parent that can help you out with that, that would be great. If not, um, you can do these on your own. I did show a few weeks ago how to use your belt to tie it to something to pull yourself down. I'm going to demonstrate the stretches if you have access to mom or dad and they can kind of help you out today. So you guys are gonna spread your legs wide there and your splits. Parents, we're pushing out gently on the calves. Right? We want to make sure that our partner has their knees flat and their toes up. Right? And we're just going to hold this for time today. So the first one is we're going to grab our opponent's wrists here, or our partner's wrists actually. I'm going to be pulling since they bend down gently until he tells me to stop. And we're going to hold that for like 30 seconds to a minute. Now this is the key here. Once you do that first round of 30 seconds, I'm going to let go. And if you don't have a partner, right, maybe you're pulling the belt and then you're letting go yourself and holding the position. So I'm giving him something to reach for. So now he's trying to kind of reach for my hands. We'll go for another 30 seconds or a minute. I'm gonna then grab his wrists again, and then parents, just gently work that stretch out a little bit more. Adults and teens, if you're by yourself, 
So see if I can put one hand behind them like this, I push it out a little wider with that. But on round two, we do the same thing, gently pull our partner forward till they stay stop. Stop. Hold it for another 30 seconds or a minute. I'm going to let go, give him that goal, and then I'll grab the wrist, push him out again, and we'll just keep this process going for as long as we can. At some point there, maybe after about five minutes, your legs are gonna get a little bit stiff there. So I'm gonna pull back there, I'll let him bring his legs back together, shake it off, and then we should be ready for a good round of kicking today. All right, I think you guys are gonna really like this combination today. We're doing a hand combo with an aerial kick. We're gonna start the hand combination first. It's very simple. We're gonna step out, throw a left chop there and a right punch. We did this last week with the hand combinations and then we step back to set position. We're only working on one side today. So let's chop punch one, and it goes back, set two. You guys are gonna drill that. So little dragons, you gotta do 15. Uh, kids are working up to 20, adults 25. And these are just base numbers here. You can certainly go higher than that. Once you get that combination down, we're gonna be back with the aerial kick review. Okay, now we're working into an aerial kick. So we're gonna just practice how to do an aerial kick with one leg forward. So you guys are gonna place your right foot forward. What's gonna happen here is we're gonna lean back away from the screen. We're gonna drop our head down to the ground and bring our head close to the screen. Now, when we get here, that left leg is going to stick out to the side. So I'm gonna have an L position. You won't be able to hang out here too long, but once you get there, you will switch legs, and you'll just turn around and you're done with the kick. All right, we're not gonna throw any hands or anything like that. So again, we're back to that right foot forward, we're leaning back, we're dropping our head down, we're bringing it forward, we're sticking our leg out to the left elbow there, we switch, and we turn the body around. You're gonna to need to spend some time really working the mechanics of that. You have Sensei Ben demonstrated from a different angle, maybe if he's kind of sideways there, and you can get a better understanding of it. Excellent, right? When your head is low and your kick is high, it looks pretty nice. Oh, all right, good try, says Ben. One more time, says Ben. Excellent, yes. Sometimes you get that upside down aerial kick, which is really, really cool as well. In any case, once you guys feel comfortable with that, dragons, try to hit 15, uh, kids going for 20, adults trying to do a full 25, and then we're gonna put the hand combination together with the aerial kick. All right, using the hand combo, we're setting up the aerial kick now. So we're gonna step back out with that left, we're gonna do a cross punch. You may move your right foot forward there to kind of regain your step or your footwork, and then he'll be able to go into his aerial kick. And he's finishing with the punch. Awesome, one more time. Chop punch, aerial kick, and punch. Awesome, and you can see that he's doing two different angles. He's going once to the left there, which looks pretty cool, and then to the right, so it shows a lot of contrast to the eye. Uh, dragons have been doing this uh, 15 times, kids 20, adults 25, and then we're going to add a little bit of a, of a technique here that's going to make that aerial kick look a little higher, even if you can't kick higher. Pause the video and we'll be back. Okay, this is a little secret we're doing here. So we're going to do our little hand combo at the beginning. We're going to do the aerial kick, but this time when we throw the punch, we're going to dip down and punch instead. So if he's going to throw that aerial kick like before, he's going to drop low to the floor. So it's showing a lot of contrast in the height, right? It's got the high kick, and then the body goes low. It really looks cool to the eye. We'll do it slowly once more. So let's chop, let's punch. We swing the body back. We lift that left leg up. We switch, kick with the right, and then we dip down with the punch. All right, since the Ben's gonna try that one a little quicker. Excellent. All right, Dragons, you're gonna try to do 15 of those. Kids, you're trying to work through 20 and adults and teens, another 25. And then this next round will be a bonus round for everybody if you're up for the challenge. Pause the video, we'll see you back. Okay, so now we're going to be doing our chop punch combo into our aerial kick like before. We will dip down and throw our punch. So let's go to that. We chop, punch, we dip down, and punch. Now, when we get to here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our hands and open them up. Sensei Ben is going to be spinning, all right? So what he's going to do here is he's going to put his right leg on the ground and he's going to do a spinning hook kick with his left leg. So we're going to throw a hook kick into another punch. All right, it's kind of a, it's like a spinning hook kick, but it's done on the floor. So the hands go for base, because you're going to take your knee off the floor and put it on the ground, and he comes around with the hook kick. Awesome. I'll get you just to back up a bit, Sensei Ben, for that one. So again, he's there, hands come forward, hook kick, and down. And that technique in itself, even if you didn't do the earlier stuff, would look pretty cool in your form. Once more quickly. Beautiful. Okay, let's see if we can put the whole thing together now. So he steps up. So it's going to be chop punch, aerial, dip down punch, and then spinning hook kick and punch. All right, Sensei Ben's going to try his best on this one here. 
Here he goes. Awesome. Lots of contrast, lots of spins, lots of ups and downs. Very, very dynamic. Okay, that is considered the bonus round for everybody, but dragons, if you're up for it, you're trying to do 15, kids, you're trying to do 20, and now it's another 25, and then we'll call it class. All right, adults and teens, great class today. Hopefully it was challenging. This week I was talking to kids about challenges that uh, make you grow. A long time ago I heard uh, uh, tall timber grows strong with the breeze, the stronger the wind, the stronger the tree. And uh, if you kind of push yourself and you try new things, whether it's karate or other things in life there, that's how you become a better person. You get that momentum going and uh, success just finds you, it does. So keep up the great work and we'll see you guys back in life class soon.